Sirius the Jaeger is a brand new original anime series about a group of hunters called Jaegers who hunt down vampires to save humanity. If that plot sounds unoriginal, it's only because it is. <laughs> Creating an original anime series nowadays is very difficult. Almost every single story has been told, and when you combine anime with horror vampire stories, well, you're just going to start to see some things which look really similar to stuff that you've seen before. And that's no truer than in the brand new anime series, Sirius the Jaeger, a show that I've gotten a lot of requests to look at, and never before have I been so mixed on a first episode of a series. This show has some really great production value. It also has some of the coolest action scenes that I've seen this year. A lot of the animation in this episode looks really great. It's just the overall story and the characters just come across as samey. I've seen these characters before. I've seen this story before. There's really nothing new about this anime series. And honestly, I think the very first episode of Sirius the Jaeger was handled in a very clumsy way as they don't fully reveal everything about its world and they don't necessarily give you a hook to want it to continue to make you keep watching the series. Now, that being said, the first episode alone I still think is worth seeing if you're a fan of action anime, if only for the fact that the entire episode is bookended by some really fantastic action sequences, but really, at the end of the day, it's just about a bunch of vampire hunters. One of them seems like he's going to be the main character who goes by the name of Yuli, and like a lot of other main characters in these horror vampire stories, He's very quiet. He doesn't reveal a lot about himself. He clearly has some sort of mysterious past and might even be connected to these vampires in some form or fashion. He also happens to be really amazing at his job at being a vampire hunter or a Jaeger as they call themselves. But the very first episode is basically just a straight introduction to Yuli and his group, the Jaegers that hunt down vampires. The rest of the episode is just a bunch of random scenes that sort of try to set up what this actual world is all about. What I've gathered from the very first episode is that it takes place in the early 1900s and we have these group of hunters who go around the world trying to stop vampires. The way the actual episode opens up is actually kind of cool with this group of vampires who are in this big ballroom and they're hanging out with all these pretty ladies who they then decide to start sucking all of their blood. I will say that despite the fact that this is a vampire anime series, at least the vampire designs do look kind of cool. For me personally, it's the main characters who kind of bring this entire story down. Yuli and his friends are just so stock in every single way possible. You have the big, super strong guy. You have the young kid who has a lot to prove and is kind of a smart aleck. You have the sexy know-it-all woman. You have the leader of the group who wears a weird monocle glasses thing. And then, of course, you have Yuli, who's dark and mysterious and has some sort of secret power that we don't know anything about yet. I just feel like I've seen these characters a million times. The episode is also filled with a lot of political intrigue, which means nothing to me considering that this is the first episode of the series. And they don't even really try to establish it. They just sort of throw you into the series and they're like, oh, you should know exactly everything that's going on here. It just felt kind of clumsy in its execution. But at least they make up for this by giving us some really stellar action sequences. The one at the beginning of the episode is particularly awesome because it's Yuli's big introduction and he just jumps down through this building through the glass to attack all of these vampires who suddenly transform from their human forms into these like half-human, half-bat-like creatures. And I love that he has this like three-parted staff that can like break a card. It's, it's kind of like a three-piece nunchuck with blades on the end of it. And the way that he sort of swings it around his body and utilizes it in battle is frankly just badass. There's no getting around that. It's not until the end of the episode, though, where the episode just finally decides to go crazy with this big chase sequence of these guys chasing after these vampires through the city in their old-school cars. And yes, the cars are CG, and it is kind of distracting at times, but it's so well executed in the way that they actually animate it that it's just so fun to watch, especially the final sequence where this car ends up crashing on the bridge, spinning around and exploding in a blaze of glory, only for Yuli to come down with his signature weapon, taking out one of these vampires in a first-person perspective, and a shot that I honestly thought was really solid. Like I said, it is worth noting that the action scenes in this series look like they're going to be pretty fantastic. Just watching Yuli run around the city on the rooftops and everything, there's a lot of really great use of POV shots 
and some really great sense of scale here, so I have to commend them for that. And the final battle that he has with this female vampire at the very end of the episode is nothing short of spectacular. It's super bloody, over the top, makes great use of all of these really cool and unique camera angles. It's really exciting stuff, and it actually gives me something to look forward to for the rest of this show. The problem is just the story and the characters just really aren't doing it for me in this episode right here. So what's the rundown on the very first episode of Sirius the Jaeger? It has really great production value, but man, is this just got to be one of the most stock horror vampire hunting anime series that I've ever seen. Maybe it's because I'm just completely burnt out on the concept of vampires. I mean, they have been done to death. There's almost no way that you can make vampires unique at this point. The only other series that I think really sort of pushed the envelope in terms of utilizing vampires was JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and that's also because a lot of the time those vampires were just sort of in the background of the series, and eventually it started turning into the concept of stands, a supernatural power that had almost nothing to do with vampires in the first place. This one looks like it's going to be going for a more traditional route with them, but like I said, I do like the fact that the vampires transfer form into bat-like creatures, and that one female leader vampire at the very end of the episode, she could grow her nails and make them look all disturbing and creepy, and her overall expressions were really awesome. I mean, the artwork and the animation is really spectacular in this show. It's just the story. It's just a group of vampire hunters who all have ridiculous distinctive character designs who stick out like a sore thumb in the middle of public. I mean, that's always been one of my biggest pet peeves about anime in general, not just this episode right here, is you can always tell who the main characters are because they're the only ones with distinctive character designs. Absolutely no one else actually sticks out at all. There's only so many instances of other anime series which I think truly excelled at this, one of them being Violet Evergarden and the other one being Space Freaking Dandy, the greatest anime series of all time. But this episode right here is just sort of your generic run-of-the-mill vampire hunting series. It could potentially evolve into something else, but the first episode, I have to admit, left me wanting a little bit. While I absolutely loved the action scenes and even some of the music and art direction of this show, I, I felt kind of bored while watching this one. I just have to be honest here. This is simply just my opinion, and if I could give a score to the very first episode... I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5. Just an average episode, which I think is completely saved simply by its animation and its action sequences. But who knows? Sirius the Jaeger could certainly evolve into something else. There seems to be a little mystery with the series, like the fact that the main character of Yuli seems to possess some sort of secret power, which allows him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the vampires, which that's another problem I think I had with this episode. The vampires didn't feel scary enough. They didn't feel like that much of a threat for these guys. I mean, they just come in and they absolutely sweep these guys up. I mean, maybe that's just what we want to see. They just want to establish that these hunters are super powerful and have some crazy powers. But still, again, I, I just I have to speak from the heart. I just felt that this episode was kind of boring, in my opinion. But maybe you have a different opinion, and I would absolutely love to hear it. And you could tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought about the very first episode of Sirius the Jaeger, a brand new vampire hunting anime series. Did you like the episode? Are you burnt out on the concept of vampire? vampires. What do you think of the main characters of the show? Where do you think the story is going? And what do you hope to see from the rest of Sirius the Jaeger? Let's start a discussion in the comments section below. Thank you guys very much for watching this review. Make sure to stay tuned for the channel for tons of other anime and manga reviews. There are a lot this season, so make sure to check those out on my channel. And make sure to hit that bell notification icon below. That will allow you guys to see my videos as they are released. Make sure to also check us out on social media, where we put all types of fun tweets out, and you'll also be able to see a lot of our other content as well. Thank you guys for watching this review. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay. Down, down, baby.